On August 13, 2007, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration revised the general industry regulations for electrical safety. How do these new rules affect your organization? Would you be compliant if OSHA stopped by your work site for an inspection? More importantly, are you offering your employees the best possible protection? In this first training module, we'll discuss the dangers of arc flash and provide proactive steps you can take to protect employees. Did you know that an arc flash can produce temperatures of up to 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit? That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Fatal burns from arc flash can affect people up to 10 feet away. And arc flash happens more than you probably realize. In a typical year, over 30,000 arc flashes occur, causing about 7,000 burn injuries a year. Here are a few other sobering statistics on electrical burns. The average stay in a hospital after an arc flash exposure is 19 days, at a cost of over $18,000 per day. It's not unusual to accumulate hospital bills of $500,000, $700,000, or even costs exceeding $1 million. If you're a business owner, just think what that does to your workers' comp premiums. And what about the employee? If they survive the arc flash, they usually face additional surgeries, possible infection, extended medical care, disability, and reduced lifespan. The bottom line? Quality of life for that employee has been severely diminished. And for the employer, property damage, a stratospheric increase in workers' comp costs, OSHA fines and citations, the list goes on and none of it is positive. In this training module, we'll discuss OSHA's latest reference of NFPA 70E standards and your responsibilities when working on energized circuits. We'll also discuss the most frequently cited OSHA violations in the electrical standards. You'll see firsthand what a violation looks like so you can instantly spot problems and get them corrected before somebody gets hurt. Ready to get started? Just click the start button to begin the presentation.